Okay, so this is part three of the Do Tone video series. Um, so, this is how to make the negatives. The software I use for everything is just GIMP. This is a free download, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, it doesn't cost a thing, and there's no ads or anything like that. I've used it for all kinds of things. Um, it's compatible with Windows and Linux. I'm not sure about um, Apple. Um, but that's all you need. You don't need any add-ons. You don't need anything like that. You just need download install GIMP and then we can move on to the next step. So I have got seven pictures I selected to to uh, try this on. I don't know if I'll be using all of them, but I do recommend you put each one in its own folder. That way when you make the negatives you can associate those negatives with that specific picture. It just makes it a little easier. And also I have this, I downloaded this for free online, but you can just use it, you could literally just use a paint spot, I'll show you, to make the registration on the negatives. So you just want to separate your images out, put a folder for each one, that way you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up because it's just a pain if you get them mixed up. So the easiest way to open a picture after, make sure you've installed GIMP, see I have it over here. Um, you can just go to the image, let's go to this one. You can right click on it and click open with GIMP and it'll open right up or the other way to open it is to open GIMP click file open find the folder that it's in Let's see I think it was four you might have to create a preview uh, nope, not that one. Uh, three. Well, I opened the wrong one, but you see the, the idea. That's all you have to do to open an image in GIMP. So it was image number five I wanted, so we're going to go file, open, uh, five, and open. And now our picture is open here. So the first thing we need to do is make a border on this picture so that we can add registration marks. Registration marks are so you can register the second negative after the first uh, layer is done. Um, you can do it without. It's just very hard to do. So we're going to add registration marks to it so you can see how to do that. Okay, the easiest way to add registration marks are to go to Filters, Decor, and Add Border. So this allows us to add a border that's it's meant for like making it fancy for something else, but we're going to use it for this. So we want the border to be white. So we're going to move this all the way where it's white over here. Hit OK. And I know that I need this border to be 250 by 250. It's going to depend on how big your picture is. And then there's the border. So the easiest way to add registration marks is to just simply put a black dot in all four corners. So you want to select your uh, paintbrush tool. You want the hardness all the way to 100. And the size is just going to depend if you see the little circle there. Um, I'm going to raise it up to maybe 150, 160. And then you can put a black dot on all four corners. And that's the first simple method for making registration marks. When you make the negative, it'll print four black dots and you just need to line them up. Now this is the simple and easy method, but the other method is to put actual registration marks, which is a little more complicated, but I'll show you how to do that. Now this next method is a little harder, but um, you go File, Open, 
Uh, let's see. We want to. I have a PNG file, which is the registration mark. So here is the registration mark. And if you notice, it's it's designed to where you can see the alignment easier when it's printed. So to do this, we need to go back to this image and hit layer, new layer. Okay, and then go to the registration mark, edit, copy, edit paste now you'll see the registration mark um, it's a little too big so we'll have to resize it uh, I want to select my movement tool so I need to reduce this so this is the layer that's in so right click and click scale layer so let me see let's just try 250 on that it you're just gonna have to play with it and try it uh, I might do 300. Alright, so you want to put it as best as you can in here. Then click this button, that kind of sets it. And that's your first dot. But you got to repeat that for all four corners. So, edit copy, edit paste you can resize it before you move it so scale to 300 make sure they're all the same size um, then move it uh, like I said this is a little more work then there you go it's a little more work but um, it puts better marks on it you can tell uh, you can you can look the way this is designed um, you can see if there's like an uh, an irregularity or a something not right when you're trying to line it up, and uh, it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm almost done here. Um, and I'll have all of them up. So scale three hundred. Move it down. And there we go. Now it has a border with registration marks. So we can start with our next step for uh, making it ready to separate and all that. Now that the registration marks are on, we're going to export this image as it is. Um, so file, export as. Um, and we're going to call this 5B export. And then always make sure your quality is 100%. Alright, so that's done. We can close these out. And then we're going to open our 5B. Alright, so that that's all the steps up to this point now we can actually do our adjustments our separations and inversions so that we can uh, make the negatives to print them so the first thing we want to do is flip the image because when we print it it's going to be reversed so we need to reverse it so that it'll print correctly so we go to image transform flip horizontally um, the next thing you have to do is to make this process work you have to bring the saturation all the way up so colors hue and saturation saturation to 100 and it looks kind of I know it looks weird here but don't just ignore that because it's gonna look good in the print this is gonna look weird throughout the whole process alright so you hit OK now we are ready to separate this into the red, green, and blue layers, which will become the cyan, magenta, and yellow layers that we will then manipulate and invert. Now how you separate them is fairly simple. You go Colors, Components, Decompose, and make sure that RGB is selected. 
then click OK and it will separate them out into its uh, individual components. Alright, so now we have our red, green, and blue layers. Now if you look, there's this little eye icon. This is, whichever one's on top is the one you can see in this when it's this normal mode. So if you look, these are the three different layers. Now these are positives, but before we do anything, we have to do one little adjustment to each one of these layers. So the cyan layer, which is red, your red is cyan, green is magenta, and blue is yellow. And that's how this works. We have to make uh, one adjustment to the cyan, and then we'll export that as its own file. Then we have to make an adjustment to these two layers and combine them and then that can be exported as the uh, combined uh, magenta yellow layer for the Dutone process. Now just to be sure nothing can mix the layers together in this stage, unselect both of these, only the red one which is your cyan layer. Go to colors, brightness and contrast and bring the brightness all the way to 127. Click OK. Then go back up, colors, exposure, black level up to 0 0.1 and click OK. And that's all the adjustments we have to do to this negative. All we have to do now is hit colors, invert. And now it's a negative and it's ready to export into its own file to be printed. And all we have to do is hit file export as and we're going to call this uh, 5 cyan so we know that's the number 5 picture is cyan hit export make sure it's at 100% and export now that's the cyan layer done we don't have to do any more for that now to do the uh, magenta and yellow layers together. First, we don't want to see the cyan anymore. If it's visible, it could mess up our other negatives. So we unselect that and we select the green one, which is the magenta one. We're going to adjust it. So colors, brightness and contrast, brightness to 127. Okay. Unselect blue, which is yellow, colors, brightness and contrast. Brightness 127. Okay. Now, we want to um, be able to combine them. So first, I'm going to just deselect that one this one. So colors, invert. And then this one, colors, invert. Alright. Now, Select both of these, go to the green one, and go instead of normal mode, go to addition. And then this one, addition. Make sure they're both selected. If you see, they're adding each other together into this one image. And that's how you combine the two. Now, make, as long as these are both selected, when we export it, it's going to be combined into this one image which is the two layers combined so file export as and we're going to call this five we'll call it y plus m so it's yellow and magenta combined we're going to hit export and export now we're going to check and see if it's all there so go back to number five. We have our cyan. And then we also have our yellow and magenta combined. So we're done. We don't have to do any more with this. Now we just have to print them. And that'll be the next video, but I wanted to go over this real quick and show this is the process I'm using to uh, make the negatives separate them out and all that so that was the end of this video um, and then i'm going to do another video on how to print them how i'm printing them on my printer and then we'll go into the actual 
um, mixing the chemicals up, coating the paper, all that stuff. So I will see you in the next video.